Yeah, awesome. Place, just, place looks clean, man. Yeah. You don't just blink and it's all done for you? Yeah, right. Like bewitch. <laughs> So this, this is your workout, huh? This is it, buddy. I don't need no 24 hour fitness plan. I got it right here. Mm -hmm. This is what goes in front of the lane, so you know if you're a court one or court two. How you doing, sir? You work here too? How do you know where to put them? Oh, the little marks. This is huge. It's got climate control. I think they have weddings here sometimes. Yeah, look at this. It's got a little little hallway right here. You walk down and get married. Yeah. I guess they use turf from like a football field or something. Yep. Hey, what's the square footage here? Uh, I believe it's 7,000 square feet. Cool. So that's what size you need to be. <laughs> so did you get all this stuff uh, like little by little or you had to get it all in one shot or what? Uh, the boards bought like six at a time. Yeah. The score towers, I purchased uh, all the tall ones through uh, West Georgia Cornhole, gotcha. and I did buy like 12 to 16 of them at one time. Yeah. But then uh, saw these little ones, and they work out perfect just for the drink side. Yeah. Not for the tablet, so I went to Justin Pumphrey, mm -hmm. and uh, he made them. So then I sold off some of the big ones, but these I bought six one season, and mm -hmm. six the next. I think they I think they need to build a score tower that makes the the tablets uh like 100 percent they're not gonna fall down. Yeah, that's uh you're right on that part because like we have had some get busted. Like make them player proof. Yeah, but they just like the game. You can't make it player proof. Yeah, like if it's gonna fall, the whole thing's gonna fall. That's that's how yes. they should make it. Uh, what we used to do when we had it set up the other way on them rails. Yeah. 
I actually bought the holders, like mm -hmm. the phone holders, mm -hmm. and it would hold the tablet perfect, and it wasn't going nowhere. Mm. The, the players would fall before the tablet would fall. But when we turn it around now, I don't have no place. The only place you could hang them is on the tower. Yeah. And like you're saying, if the tire falls, then they fall. Mm -hmm. Which I think what they did with these, they started cutting the slots a little wider. Yeah. I guess trying to accommodate the tablets or some different size tablets. And they kind of really made it too big. Mm for it to hold it properly. Yeah. But then a lot of people use the sevens. I use the eights. The eights are way, to me, are way better. They hold a charge a whole lot longer. The iPhone eight? The, the tablet the seven, tablet? the Kindle eights. Yeah. Oh, okay. I could charge them up once a week and I use it for league nine all three nights. Cool. The sevens, you'd almost have to charge the sevens every day. And I do have one uh, 10. See, lots, lots of times people put their phone right here, right? Yes. And see, for a phone, it's perfect. Yeah. But for a tablet, so much bigger, it, it, it does kind of wobble. Yeah, but either way, someone can still just knock it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. They made the slot bigger mm -hmm. when I think they overthought themselves. They shouldn't have made it that wide. They ought to just make like a pocket to where you just slide it in there. Yeah. They made it like, wide. like the connect. What is that game that? With the case. Well, and that's what I'm saying. But the, I have cases on our first four, and it's still a tight. It's oh, yeah. a real tight fit. Yep. Hey, have you ever? What's the name of that game? Connect Four or what is it? Where you, you like that's red? Connect Four. Connect yeah. Four. So basically, your your phone. There's like a Connect Four here. You just slide your phone in there. there yeah, but like you said, if they knock the uh, stand over, they're gonna knock everything over. Yeah. So it works out about the same. They'll make a big noise and you know who did it. Yep, you're right. You need to curl it while you're walking. Curl it. Work on the arms. And you're lazy, dude. Come on, curl it. Curl it. You gotta work on the biceps, bro. All right, it's your last chance. I'm not curling that. <laughs> Where do you want the green stands at? Where do they go? Wow, look at this guy. Those? Yeah. They're less, uh, less. Oh, you gotta have two on each one. So this is so everybody can hear your voice? Or is this the music? That's the music and my mic. Oh yeah, you got a mic too, huh? Yes, sir. We don't be playing around in Hunt County. No. I don't know what everybody else be doing, but we're So this is the calm before the storm, huh? The calm before the storm. Yes, sir. What's up, loco? Cool arrow, dude.
Hey, good job, man. Good job. Woo! Oh, no, that you can throw that away. That's cool. What's up, fellas? Y'all ready for SIG? Uh, yeah? Ready. Are y'all leaving tomorrow or what? Tomorrow morning. Hey, we're ready to game. Watch opening day and the Masters. Ah. Oh, the Masters. If me and Brent win open doubles, Chase said we can shave his head. Yeah, Chase Lester shaved his head. We have win doubles. Dude. So me and Brent are going to be underdogs. I am rooting for that, Bubba. We're going to be sleepers. There's I can't imagine that guy bald. Happened, can't imagine that guy bald, man. <laughs> Tommy boy, baby. Oh, look at you jumping in. Y'all leaving tomorrow? Nice. See y'all later. Hey, I got you coming. Yes, sir. Hey, man, you need to curl those while you're while you're doing that. There you go. Curl it. There you go. I'm telling you. Teddy, when I grow up, I'm gonna be like you. What? Five foot six. <laughs> what you say? I said, what, five foot six? <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, I'm gonna get the These are all the stragglers that still hang around here. Is that usually the, the, the group y'all got hanging around that won't yeah, leave? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. Wait till the lights get turned off. Curl it. Hey, hey, hey. That's the great. Hey, my dude. Put your friends on me. Hey, don't do it. Hey, you work. Hey, when did we put these boxes in last? Yeah. We're going to bring the house to it. Fuck. 
Next uh, Wednesday night. Next Wednesday. Yeah, I'll bring them out there for you. Yeah, thanks for coming out, fellas. Thank you thank for having us. The father and the son, too. Yeah. Uh, how old are you? Yeah. 22. Cool. Man. <clears throat> competition, like George, was it? Uh, Garth Brooks said, competition's getting younger. <laughs> Ain't it always, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. I mean, it is, and everything. <clears throat> I mean, any sports world, that's about how it is. Yeah. So who got who into the cornhole? Uh, same time. Yeah, it was about the same time, but then he got out of it yeah, uh, for, for a couple of, couple of years. Yeah. Uh, so who's uh, who's got more wins? Who's, uh, are y'all about the same? Or? No, no. Well, I'm going to have more wins next because I've been playing more, but yeah. No, against each other. other oh, I'm against each other? I only beat him, like, I could... Probably not even five times. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, but but he's getting there. Put it that way. He's yeah. getting there. He's getting there. You will get one on camera. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect well, time to add one more. I mean, yeah. 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 Get one on camera. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, he, he he's getting better. I mean, he got out of it. He got is now getting back in it. Um, we started playing together though. I mean, we're playing yeah, we're, tournaments. We're playing the CD tournaments and stuff yeah. together. So yeah. I mean, who's your partner at Sick? Uh, Ricky Jenkins is going to be my partner in Okay. Yeah. Who's going to be your partner? Uh, Casey. De La Rosa. Okay. He's going to play in social yeah. and then I'm yeah. in competitive. What uh, bags are going to use? I'm using the, uh, well, we're going to throw the collectors. That's what Ricky likes to throw. It's a damn good bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he likes yeah. to throw them. I've never really thrown them. Uh, I think my, you like them, dude. My yeah, go-to like bag them. right now is the Bonnie's. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's a good throw. You like the Bonnie's. I love the bag. Tell everybody it, it's a bag where you feel like, man, I, I left that short. Yep. And it just carries up the road. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> you just trust the fact that for whatever reason, CJ says it's like even evenly weighted or whatever. Yeah. I mean, for whatever reason, that bag, when it hits the board on the stick side, on the slow side, it, it'll carry up really? the board nicely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I like the, the bonnies. I used uh, Matt Morris's bonnies at Ryder Cup mm-hmm. when we had a random draw, we got paired together. And I just fell in love with the jokers right then, and, that, <laughs> and that's all I've been throwing ever since. Hey, we noticed that y'all got like the same throw. Did y'all like? Uh, did you teach him your throw, or you taught him your throw? Cause y'all I didn't teach him nothing. Yeah, I, I think he just picked yeah, it up watching me. Yeah. So y'all got like the same step. Like yeah. y'all standing there. I take two steps. He steps with one, but, but like now, the finish is the same. He's got a little hitch. He's got a little hitch. He's got a hitch. No, Dario has oh. a little hitch before his step. Yeah, it's like a you. His is like a hit in a stand. <coughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Very, uh, like, the first time I threw against you, I, I was like, oh, this Dario son. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just, uh, that's that's how I started. Yeah. Three years ago, three and a half years ago, and it, I've just stuck with it all along. Yeah. I've tried to stand there yeah. and just either stand at the front of the board, the back mm-hmm. of the board, the middle of the board. And it, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, it's so it? hard to learn a new throw, man. Yeah. I've been well, trying to do that. What, yeah, that's, that's what I'm so saying. Hard. I just, I don't. Especially if you're going to play a league with somebody else, if you're going to learn a new throw, it's going to make you worse in that moment, and you're going to like. Yeah. So your you part just is, have to go away for a couple yeah. months. You have to put it take, maybe during the summer when there's not you know heavy league going on. Yeah. Because otherwise, your partner's going to hate you. Right. right. Yeah. No. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and oh. that's a good thing about the switch holios. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but then again, like you said, you, you get stuck with somebody that's real competitive and they're like, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? And, you know, well, I mean, the whole switch holio idea is for you to work on stuff, to throw different bags, throw with different people, and to work on your game, too. But when push comes to shove, are you going to stick with your, what you're working on, or are you going to go back to... True. You know, so that's why, to me, you almost have to work on like a new throw or a new, any. New yeah, out away from everything. Out away yeah. from everything because if, if there's money on the line or competition, I think that yeah. you're naturally going to be like, oh, let me go back to the, yeah. the thing I'm trying to get away from. Correct. Which, which, and, and the switch holios, I very rarely ever throw my bags. I never even open my. You always throw somebody else's bags. I always throw who, whatever they're throwing. Whatever they're gotcha. throwing. And I mean, in that way, that gives you the feel of other bags too, so you're not just used to your one. Yeah. So I usually always tell everybody, no, we're gonna throw whatever you throw. 
Yeah. You know, whatever you're comfortable with, whoever they are, whoever I get paired up with, I'm like, hey, you got some bags? Let's go. We'll, we'll, we'll throw whatever you got. Yeah. And either I'll adjust and figure the bag out, or mm -hmm. I'll be like, shoot, I don't ever want to see that bag again. I ain't going to throw it. I ain't going to buy it, so I ain't going to throw it. Did y'all play softball, too? I did. He never has. I, I did for a little while. Yeah, uh, I played men's league a little bit. Yeah, but I mean. I, we, know, we I noticed got, that there's a lot of, before Cornhole got big, a lot of people used to play softball. Softball, yes. And, man, I, I heard stories like, man, softball would get crazy. Like, no, okay. softball is crazy. It's it is very talking. crazy. It's a lot of, oh, yes. There's a lot of similarities, I think, between the There is. And softball. There's a whole yeah. lot of similarities between softball and Cornhole because, yeah. like you said, the, the trash talking, the, trash talking. the drinking, the beer drinking. Yeah, the drinking. I mean, it's the same. I yeah. mean, and, and, and the competitiveness, taking it from the field uh, to the stands to the parking lot, it, it's just the same way. And is that pretty on. big? Is there like big leagues like TCO? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, U-Triple-SA. Yeah, U-Triple-SA. Garland has a, has a big league they do. And I mean, and there's people that travel all over the country too, all over the United States playing in, in tournaments and stuff. They have those places like Big League <clears throat> Dreams in Mansfield. Mm -hmm. Huge complex, and they uh, the stadiums are replicas of real MLB stadiums, same yeah. dimensions and everything. That's where they play softball. At. So that means there's a lot of money in softball. Then. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Because uh, there's some guys that I went to high school, graduated high school with that play in senior ball now in U Triple S A, and they're traveling to Austin, Houston, Florida, wow. and stuff like that, and winning. Money and trophies, all at the same medals and stuff. Yeah. So, is it the same thing like in the bag market, where like there's some bats that people pay a lot of money for those? Bats oh yeah, most definitely. If you go online today, and there's bats that are outlawed, and bats that you you had the bat company, only certain bat manufacturers are allowed to play in the U Trip League, or ASA League, and stuff like that. Stamp like TCO has have a U Trip <coughs> stamp on the bat. Oh. Yeah, they got stamp on the bats. Even in uh, <clears throat> shoot, little, league little league baseball, stuff, yeah. little league baseball, you got to have a certain stamp on high the bat. Okay. And yeah. high school, high school especially, you got to have a certain stamp on the bat. There's a weight dimension, like on the bags. There's a weight dimension on the bats mm -hmm. that you can use in high school. What's legal and what isn't. <clears throat> and before each game, the umpires go to the dugouts and hey, what bats are y'all using? You got to throw them out, and they got to look at them and check all the stamps and make sure they're legal. And the, do the do the leagues last about as long as like a cornhole league? I mean, uh, as far as season? Seasons, yeah. Your uh, your baseball seasons, uh, baseball in Texas is year round. Yeah. I mean, you got your school ball that plays from about February or March till school graduates, and then your summer leagues. Of course, you're playing the summer. You got two months, mm -hmm. and then your fall leagues are about another two three months. And yeah, they're they're just like it is. Because most most of the TCL leagues are what eight weeks, nine weeks at the most, mm -hmm. uh, and they're split up about the same. Yeah, man, that, <clears throat> that was pretty impressive how, how you guys had to put all this stuff out there and then you know make sure everybody gets their their games they're supposed to get, and then you still get your games in there too. You right. Get See, what, what's crazy about that mm -hmm. is before Scorholio came out with the uh, the seasons that we do now, mm -hmm. he. Uh, He'd have the sheet of the schedule, and after the game, you'd have to come in, write your schedule or write your score, and then uh, the next night or Thursday or whatever, he'd go to work, put it all on a spreadsheet, send that out on Facebook, have the next schedule. He'd do the schedule by hand, have the next schedule, and then update the standings. I think I remember that. Put all yeah. the points and everything. Yeah. He had the points for, points against. He'd have everything. and he'd have to do that all by hand. Yeah, back back before, before score, score holio. Score holios. Was that was just last it's a game changer. Yes, right? it was for, years for the, yes, for all its faults, because it does, still does have some. Yeah, it is it is modernized mm -hmm. cornhole. It's yeah. the best thing in the world. But in the past, uh, but it does cost. You got to pay for it. But, yeah, but it, it's, it's it, you reap what it does because yeah. it yeah. does everything for me now. Yeah. In the past, I used uh, League Lobster, and Taylor <laughs> lobster. and Taylor Stone used League Lobster yeah. too. Lobster. Yeah, but it, it would do a schedule for you. But you couldn't keep the points and stuff on it because it but didn't it know set, how. Yeah, it was set up for like soccer so, and yes. stuff. It was set up for soccer, maybe a volleyball. volleyball. Too. Yes. And so it, it wouldn't keep track of the wins and losses and points for and against it. it, it but because be you could win the match two out of three, but you win your two games, you might have got lost the third game twenty-one zero, so you only had forty-two points. Yeah. Well, if the other team had twenty-one that one win. 
and even scored five or six points in the other one, then it gave them the win yeah. of the whole match because they had more points than you. It was a strictly points basis. So it was a nightmare to try to use. So someone was always talking shit back, like, what the hell, man? Yeah. Right. So I would have to, we'd have to print everything out. They'd have to write the score, and I would have to make my own spreadsheet to keep the scores. So how much, how much time do you think Sportolio saves you a week on a weekly basis? On a weekly basis, probably, on a weekly basis, probably, probably now with this, it would save me, it saves me probably 10, 15 hours a week of wow. what I used to have to do. Because yeah, I would have to, I would have to do everything. Plus, people texting either at night about stuff or on the on weekends to keep so up with everything. Asking for updates yeah. or something, and, and then everybody talking about, "Oh, the scores are wrong. We yeah. entered them wrong, and yeah. you gave them the well, I, I put in what y'all put down. I mean, I can't yeah. help what you do." Well, you the, know? the people at Sportfolio Chad, and you know, who is I think he said that he's trying to help. Develop for or whatever. Yeah. That's gotta make them feel good to hear that because I mean that's ultimately makes it a lot easier for. Oh yeah, I mean the director to do what they're supposed yeah. to be doing rather than. Right. Yeah, because now I mean words. I don't I don't do that. I mean I don't mess with it. I mean I hit the button to update and it updates everything every night. I mean it does it all for me, which there was. Uh, I will say there are sometimes I've only called into the. Or chatted with Scoreholio maybe twice since I started using it. Uh, there are some leagues or directors that are there on there all the time have questions with Scoreholio. Yeah, we'll play a tournament. And hey, uh, I've only talked to them one time, once or twice, and both times that I've talked to them, they haven't been able to figure out what I had, what what the question was. And there's something that that is still on my platform that I'm using that they didn't even think was available anymore. Really? They thought they had done away with it. <laughs> and they said, it shouldn't be there. And I said, yes, it's there. And they logged in and took my computer over by remote and said, dang, has it messed up your league? And I said, no. And this was last season. We was already like four weeks in. And they're like, we took that step out. It, it shouldn't, you shouldn't be allowed to use it. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, it shows up right there. And he goes, yeah, I see it. Yeah. He goes. But it hasn't messed you up, messed up any of the times or the dates or the scores. And I said, no, it, it's working fine. I said, and it's a great thing because it's the what's up next. So it would list who's up next. Yeah. And uh, he goes, well, we took that out of the league format. You got to use this other thing that is similar to it. But he would, he got in there and looked at it and looked at our league and he goes, man, I could have sworn we took that out. I'm going to have to get with <laughs> IT because that, that ain't supposed to be usable, but you're using it. And I said, yeah. Weird. Maybe it's and a computer you had or something. I guess. And he goes, he goes, well, as long as it ain't messing up, then mm. keep going. He goes, but I don't have a good answer for you. And I'm like, well, Jesus Christ, I just waited on you for 30 minutes and then finally <laughs> talked to you. And I know something about your score holio platform that you don't even know, and you're the owner of it. Oh, well, was the actual owner that answered? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was the actual people in California that answered. <clears throat> hey, do you think there's a way that in the future they'll be able to put a feature where like, you know, where Scoharlio knows that you hit an airmail? I think that'd be pretty cool if you have an airmail percentage. Air mails, uh, like I think that's, that's, not a, that's not a normal stack that's kept. I know, that's what I'm saying. You think it's well, possible. I don't know if they're gonna keep that. I don't know if Scoharlio, here's the thing about Scoharlio, or any buddy with technology that develops a platform or develops software is, you got a good point there. If someone wants to pay for that feature, they'll yeah. be glad to add it in. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's, and, yeah. The, and, the, and that's yeah. what Scoreholio is looking at. I mean, well, right now. I mean, again, but then you come in there, okay, what's an airman? That one knocked in. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but, I mean, the thing with, with Cornhole is airman don't. It's three points, but it ain't no more points. That's than, what I'm saying. Ain't no more points than me sliding like a, it in the hole. Yeah, like yeah, but it's single. I mean, in the you just you it's, want it's, a, it's, it's a shit talking uh, privilege. Like, no, you're right. Let's say, let's you're say, right. like, man, the, your opponent said, man, I beat you again, brother. I beat you again. We're like, hey, I did more airmen than you did again. But no, no, you're, you're right. right. There's no defense for an airman. Yeah. yeah. You right. can be like, hey, I'm the best air and No, no. You can block an airman. Like, if I can go down there and block the door, you're like, hey, yo. No, you're you're right on that. You're right on that. But but like I said. Unless there's some incentive for Scoreholio to add that, yep. yeah. 
I, they won't mess with it. And I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't because, mess with it. I wouldn't because there's so much other things that they're having to mess with. Because you, because you know ACL, when they they got a different platform with score Holio. I don't like it. It's every round, every it's round. How many in? How many? Yeah. Out, how many in? How many? Out, it, it's, it isn't just five three. It's weird. Yes, it, it, you got to update it every every time you throw. It's that much more trouble. Yeah. I mean, and and I I will give but them credit. That's, that's the, the, guys play, I mean, the guys who play with it more, they, they say that they like it. Because they're used to it, probably. Yeah, because yeah, they're used to it. Because yeah, they, they got to have it. Yeah. And you got to also remember ACL players. I mean, they're, 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 the more stats they have, the better are for their sponsorships. Yeah. And that's, that's, what they're taking, that's what they're taking and trying to get. Is, is showing the sponsor, hey, donate this amount. Hey, look, this is what, I, what I've been doing. This is how I've been playing. You know, you have something to back it up. And, but, I mean, Scoreholio is, to me, best thing in the world. Badass. It, it is the best thing in the world. I mean, you can send messages out to everybody yeah. that's in your league. That's it's relatively pressure. new, too, isn't it? Yeah, it ain't well, that old. Take, I mean, it takes really the also. I mean, I love the fact out of Hunt County that I like when there's a league and there's an MC at the league. Somebody on a microphone. Because every once in a while, not everybody's paying attention. Everybody gets tied into a conversation. Or oh, whatever, true. So you get through. But also, I mean, it, it takes that away to where, hey, everybody, you've got your phone. You get buzzed in your, you know, one of the four people are going to say, oh, we're up on yeah. right. four, grab their partner, you know, and so it keeps, I would think, the director also from having to babysit as much. True. Babysit, but, babysit the, the, <coughs> the game flow. Right. And, and then the, and, and another reason, I mean, the reason I do, we do call out the games in Hunt County, because there's very few reasons to do. Uh, Y'all know who who does, who doesn't. Right. The reason I do, though, in Hunt County is because, hey, Score Holio saved, us, saved me a lot of time on the paperwork into this thing, but I don't want to be there till midnight every night. And I know 90% of the players don't want to be there all night either. No. I mean, or everybody. The wives, the wives don't want you That's what I'm saying. The wives don't want you there. But, I mean, everybody has a job. Everybody has to work. I mean, Oh, and, the, the leagues now, so the first couple leagues I played in were North Texas, and it was, what were you using? The four-bagger? The four-baggers. Oh, yeah. Four-bagger, yeah. we used, and then, and there's no MC there. All right. Then I played Reapers, there was an MC, that was when Lewis and, uh... Uh, blank, uh Aaron, Steve and Aaron. Aaron Landers, right. yeah. and, and they would, and we were using League Officer. But man, League wouldn't get over until 10, 30, 11 o'clock, <laughs> yeah. because... It was on everybody, you know, it was like, oh my goodness. Well, now even with no MC and nobody on a microphone, these are done by 9 o'clock. 8, 8.45, 9 o'clock, 9.15. Yeah, we're, we, were, we, packed, we picked up everything. Everything was in the trailer, and we're in the car about to leave at 8.55 last night. Yeah. That's freaking amazing, dude. Yeah, I mean, and, yeah. and I'm sure with League Lobster, you never got out there until... Oh, they knocked me down there before 11, 11 30. what? Every time I. And that wasn't dragging ass. That was just. Oh, that was yeah. just getting everybody in. Yeah. yeah. My wife likes it when I go to, to Hunt County for a league. <laughs> She's like, can you can you come home at a decent time tonight? And I'm like, I'm already driving home. Dario kicked us out. Dario kicked us out 20 minutes ago. Get out. I'm on the way. <laughs> we'll bring a pizza or something. Or, yeah. you, know? You, you know, but yeah, Score Holio has been wonderful. It's great. Uh, well, if you notice even the six series, how they move now. Yep. I mean, yeah, they might not start on time, yeah. but the damn sure finish on time. Yeah. Because you're done. There were, in the past, I don't know how many y'all have gone to, been, and I've only been, like I said, for the past three years. But the first one we went to, Jesus Christ, there was no break to where you could go out and go get you something to eat and come back in. No. You could go to a restaurant or something Just and come back. Standing around and waiting. Yeah, there was a standing around and waiting. For that bracket to get done, hey, okay, and now we're finna start. We're ready to go. Wow. I mean, you didn't have that that time in there. So you started three years ago. Three okay. years, three and a half years ago. First time we played, uh, we went on a cruise, and we had seen it on TV, and we got the itinerary list, and it said Cornwall. We're like, let's, let's check that out, and we went out there, and five days, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. and four, four days, me and him won 
whatever thing they were had at cornhole, and we got a little trophy. Y'all want to? Y'all want on a cruise? Yeah, on a cruise. That's Every day they'd have a tournament, and we won a ship on a stick, is what they call it. Yeah, ship on a stick. As soon yeah. as we got back, that was the first thing we did when we got back. We got some boards and some bags. That's and bad ass. Started looking. Yeah. Which the last day. My brother-in-law, John Lobdell, he won finally. But we'd him. always beat him. And he, they run, we won all the ships, so they had to give him a medallion. Him. And he was proud of the medallion. Boy. He, I got the gold medal. I got the gold medal. John Lobdell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, I got the medal. We had five ships, but he had the medal. He had the medal. Wow. <laughs> first time we played, that's crazy. We, uh, yeah. we won every tournament the first four days. And, and then we come back, and I was looking. I told John, uh, hey, Let's, let, I'm gonna check into this cornhole deal. Were you living in Rockwell at the time? No, I was living in Worth City at the time. Oh, Worth City. Okay. Yeah. So I said, uh, and he was living in Rowlett. And I said, hey, I'm gonna look up. Let's see if we can find something to play during the week. You know. I, he was like, okay, yeah, go ahead. Well, I found uh, Forney mm -hmm. with Jason Andrews at the Ice House, but they played on Tuesday nights. Yeah. Well, my job with the city at Worth City, I had to go to council meetings every other Tuesday. So I'd be missing two nights a month. Right. So I was like, man, I can't do this. So then we checked into, I found uh, Taylor Stone yeah. at- uh, At Blue Sky? No, it was before Blue Sky. We did the VFW in McKinney. Okay. We did the VFW. Yeah, Ceilings were real low. Mm, and the more veterans were in there smoking. If you had an early game, it was great. By the last game, Shoot, your bags are cutting through the smoke. <laughs> all the all the vets. Yeah, all the vets when they're smoking. Ain't gonna tell, ain't gonna tell they're not smoking. <clears throat> and no. then the, there were ceiling fans in the lanes. Yeah. They would have to remove the blades for us to play on. on it's kind of like the ranch house, something like that. Yes, that just like that. But they would have to remove blades <laughs> from the fans wow. on Thursday night. I would have been dead. <clears throat> and and that's where I started. That's where me and John Lobdell started with with uh, <clears throat> with uh, North Texas at the VFW. And what was y'all's first bags y'all tried that y'all liked? The game changers. Game changers? Yeah. yeah. When we come back, uh, I got on the TCL website, and uh, game changers had just started being uh, brand co-branded with TCL, and I bought five sets. You could just buy five sets. You right could there? buy five sets. There was nothing going out. There was. Oh, I mean, man. it wasn't that big. That's freaking badass. Man. Yes, it wasn't that big. I bought five sets, and John bought three. <laughs> See, I wish I, like, to, tomorrow when I go to SIG, I wish I'd be like, man, you see these 10 bags here? I want them right now. Boom. Yeah. Just buy them. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I went over there to Andrews uh, at Star Turf, and he took me back in the office, and we were talking, and, I mean, had you had back, he had a whole wall, just bags sitting there waiting to be bought. Mm -hmm. You could just call. You didn't even, you know, now you got to pre-purchase and then go pick them up. Yeah. If you don't want them shipped, you can pick them up over there at Star Turf. Uh -huh. Oh. Back then, you walk in, you paid right then. Wow. Because, of, I mean, there just wasn't, it it's wasn't the demand it is, it is now. It's not what it is, yeah. Yeah, it was, the demand wasn't there. I mean, because we started in North Texas, and there was, he had open, social, and competitive, had six lanes, maybe seven, but six lanes I know for sure. You got 12 lanes, right? Yeah, we have 12. Okay. But Taylor had six lanes. And for the three divisions, it was probably 2016, 2018. That's about the time that Menarca was. So Rogi yes. was there. Yes, Rogi was, was there. So Menarca was brand new. <clears throat> Menarca was brand new. Will Davis was playing over there. Think about uh, that, man. Menarca went from brand new at that point in yeah. time that you guys started to being a, an ACL pro. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, Rogi was there, DK. Uh, Steve Kim, uh, Krista Lynn Hargrove and her Is husband. That That's where I met them over there. Fernando Castaneda. Castaneda, yes. Castaneda. He was there. Uh, yes. Uh, and that's Seth and the Hollies. That's um, where I met all of them. When you said, when you told me the other day that uh, y'all's place is 7,000 square feet, does that include like the kitchen area or just the place? No, everything. Oh, everything. Everything. <clears throat> because it makes sense, or maybe it's just a coincidence, but. So, 7,000 square feet, you got 12 lanes, and then Chad Jacobson was telling me he needs 70,000 square feet for 120 lanes. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. But just a bigger scale. Just a bigger scale. But the same numbers. Yes. That's just crazy. a bigger scale. Yeah, yes. that's cool. Yeah, but I started over there, 
And then there was uh, a guy, Justin Miller. He plays in our competitive too. I don't know if y'all met him out there, but yeah, he I'm plays sure in the competitive. My ass a couple times. <laughs> and uh, we went to church together in Royal City, and they were wanted to throw bags, and and they had about eight teams that wanted to throw bags, mm -hmm. and uh, they were going to make a league up at the church. And uh, he said, hey, you want to play over here? You know, and we were like, yeah, I mean, we're starting out. I said, we live right here. I mean, shoot, we might as well play here. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, we'll play in the league. You know, sign us up. So they got, we had a, we made a, the first season at the church while I was still playing in McKinney, we played on Monday nights and they said, hey, they just formed a league. We had 10 teams. Yeah, just and it was all one thing, just mm -hmm. 10 teams. So we was thrown at the church. Were well, y'all a bunch of like maybe D players at the time? Oh, yeah, right. it was all, it was all backyard. It was backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was just friends from the church. It was, it was, much, yeah, it was mainly it church teams is yeah, what it was. It was a league. So we used it sort of like a fellowship. Yeah. Like a men's night with the church. So we, we played. We had 10 teams on a Monday night. We were still playing in McKinney on Thursdays. Well, then it come time to start the league to make a schedule. And everybody's like, well, you know, nobody wanted to do it. So Justin Miller actually made the page on Facebook as a Hunt County Baggers. And he goes, hey, Dario. Uh, and he knew I'd coach you sports and stuff. He goes, hey, why don't uh, you want to run a league for us? I was like, dude, I just want to play. He's like, yeah, but none of us know what we're doing. Do you, will you run, you know, run it? And I'm like, okay, fine. I'll, I'll schedule, I'll, I'll get it all done. Yeah. So we did that one. So then the next season, all of a sudden, yeah. people were looking on Facebook and they were like, hey, we want to come play, do this, do that. Well, naturally playing out there in North Texas, I figured out we figured out the social competitive, you know, hey, this thing. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of North Texas teams wanted, the Garnicas yeah, were coming yeah, out there. Yeah. And then I was like, hold on, dude, we all can't play together because, I mean, I know some of you guys are better than other ones and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So then we had a sign-up on Facebook. Next thing I know, we had like 28 teams. Yeah, we had 30 teams. So we split it up between social competitive. We only had six lanes inside six the lanes. church. So we did, on Monday nights, two different divisions. How long did that last? Were y'all like in there... We were in there a little. Well, the good thing was the past the preacher was playing with us too in the league, yeah. oh. so that was a good thing. And, yeah. and he let us drink in the parking lot. Yeah, that's a badass preacher right there. Yeah, yeah, he let us drink in the parking lot. He just couldn't bring it inside, but he was playing too, so it wasn't so bad with him up there. That's my guy. Yeah, so uh, so we we did it. Well, then all of a sudden, Jason Andrews sees all these posts on Facebook about us doing a. Sort of like the Patriot Bank right now. I mean, I had a lot of league over there. Yeah. And so him and Chad hit me up, and I'm like, dude, I really didn't want to run this when I was running it. I mean, mm -hmm. it was just a process of elimination. If we were going to play, somebody had to do it. Right. And he's like, well, and there wasn't nobody. That's before the Reapers. There wasn't nobody out there. The next closest ones were East Texas. Mm -hmm. and he's like, hey, we'd like to have y'all come, you know, join TCL. But you got to use our boards. And I'm like, dude. They got the money to front all this stuff to get some boards and stuff. And he's, they're like, well, if you go, you, we'll let you play a couple, couple seasons, raise you some money, then you, you know, buy, we want you to replace our boards. And I'm like, man, I, you know, I really don't want to get that deep into this stuff. I, mm -hmm. I just want to play. Right. But we did grow to 28, 30 teams by the second season. Just the second season, wasn't even a year. Mm -hmm. It's funny though how you just fall into stuff and yeah. you're not really looking to fall into it. Yeah. You just fall into it. So then the third season, so then I told her we, we played the summer. So for the fall, we joined TCL. Mm -hmm. And I told everybody from the start, hey, during the summer, hey, we're going to join TCL next season. You got to use TCL mm -hmm. bags. But we're going to go full blown. Right. And uh, we had like 40 teams. Damn. And we were like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> So you had to split it up in different days. Yeah, so then we were like, we got to find another venue. Yeah. I mean, we can't stay here. I mean, it ain't big enough. Oh, and speaking of, next next season, y'all got to move somewhere else, right? Next season, we don't have to, we're going to. You're going to. Yeah, yeah we don't have to. It's just that uh, they've gone up on the rent so much yeah. to where before we used to pay $100 a week for all three nights. Now we're paying $100 a day. So for an eight-week season, it's $2,400 a rent. 
Andrew paying for every little thing. That and we, and I don't. So don't just have that. Build, they'd rather just have that building set empty. Yes, yeah. they, and he told me. He said, "Well, just have it set empty." I was like, "Okay," but most venues now, as you know, are charging you five dollars just to come in the door. Yeah. Most it's like where you can bring your own beer. Yeah, be wild bees. They charge you five dollars to come in the door. I think that's a great idea, anyway. Like, True, you know, but I've never done it, right. and I've stayed away from it. And we've been been able to do it. Uh, we did go up on the league prices, but now we're just about uniform with everybody else across the board. I see everybody's prices when they start the season. Yeah, everything's going up. Right yeah, now. and we're just about even with everybody. I mean, even your venues like at Shenanigans. Are charging the same as I am, but you're still going in there buying beer and you're buying food. Yeah. So we haven't done yeah, the five dollars. <clears throat> right, and they don't pay no rent. None at all. Because so, they're bringing in. They're, you're beer bringing sales. in food and beer sales, and, and I and, and I understand and that. And it would be different if if the party venue had where you can buy beer. Correct. Kind of like Blue Sky. Yes. There's less risk though. Why? Are you, why oh yeah, there's less that? risk. Why do you even want to mess with that? Yeah. yeah. So. But the only thing it does to our league is I take the rent money out of their entry, out of everybody's entry fee, so it cuts down on the payouts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's why I'm looking for a new venue to where it can raise the payout. You got something in mind? I have. Uh, we have three in the works. Uh, one is not a B Y O B. The other two are. And it's got to have twelve lanes at least. The one that is not B Y O B. We can get 11 in there. That's good. And it's already being used one night a week, but the people wanted to use every night if they could. So, and it's no rent. How close? It's about 10 more minutes east of where we're at today. Gotcha. And hey, why do y'all put that black plastic? Is that so the because, walls don't get scuffed? Yes, people put their feet no, up on it. Oh, yeah, people put their feet up. That's scuffing the walls. Yeah, yeah they're scuffing the walls. Darwin yeah, called it an unfortunate yeah. incident where we had a hole in the wall. I was up here patching the holes in the wall. Yeah, wow. somebody kicked a hole in the wall one day. Damn. And we don't even know who did it. No, well, I know who did it. We know who did it not. We got, I mean, okay. we had them. They haven't been back since. Mm. Uh, but the other thing, people would, I mean, and it's natural. You're leaning up against, you put, prop your foot up. Yeah. So the oh, cover, scuff good. marks. I say, man, some people would be throwing some dirty ass bags <coughs> or something, and they miss, and they're like, no. We didn't do yeah. that there, the owners would. Well, having to paint it. I'm, I spent a week up there painting after they put up the sheet rock. Wow. Is they were going to charge you, right? Yeah, they were going to charge me. How'd you find that place? <laughs> That's a funny deal. You remember the... Uh, Commerce uh, College uh, shooting at yeah. a at like a what was it a Halloween party? No. Yeah, it was yeah. Halloween party. It was Halloween party like yeah. three and a half years ago, mm -hmm. two and a half years ago, whenever it happened. Yeah. Uh, they had that shooting there, and that person got killed. Well, Danny Townley lives in Caddo, and some other people live in Caddo that were part of Hunt County. They said, hey, we got just a venue when we were, because they were playing at the church with us. They said, hey, we think we got a venue. And I'm like, okay, I'm game, whatever. I mean, we got to get out of here. Mm -hmm. And he goes, uh, set up a meeting with the owner. Well, after that shooting, <clears throat> everybody canceled on it for the rest of the year. All his, all his dates got open because they canceled. They didn't want to go up there no more. Wow. And he, he was worried too that, it was going to be some liability issues on his part. So, yeah. so, tell him to quit farting. <laughs> hey, tell him to take some Pepto Bismol or something. Pepto Bismol. Pepto. <laughs> so, we went up there and met. Yeah, we went up there and met with the guy on a Sunday, and he goes, he goes, I don't, I don't have no rentals. He said, everybody's canceled on me since the shooting. And, I mean, it shed a bad light on him because it was in the news and everything. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. I said, so we need it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You need on the weekends in Not at first. Let's just go Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We'll do. You know, I'll take those three dates if I can leave the stuff up. Mm -hmm. And he said, fine. He said, because it's empty. He said, I've had a month of emptiness. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'll take whatever I can get. A month of emptiness. Wow. And, and, and that's how we got it. I mean, it was an unfortunate situation how we got it. Yeah. But, but that's a silver lining, though. Yeah, but we got it. 
and, and but then it sold recently. It got sold. Uh, it'll be a year in July. Mm -hmm. They sold it, <coughs> and he got he got what he wanted for it. Top dollar. Oh, I'm sure. Right, yeah. now, right there on the frontage. I mean, he got, but he still owns 20 acres behind it. Good God. He only sold five acres with that. Wow. But, uh, but yeah, we're looking. I have, we have two within two minutes of this facility that we're looking at. And the third one is about 10 more minutes, but it's on, inter it's on the interstate. It's on I-30. What's that big red place with <clears throat> from? Formation, Formation first. Big red place on that. On the right? Yeah, on the left. Okay. You're coming from Farmersville to the venue. Uh, oh, I know where you're he talking about on 380. Yeah, 380. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what that is. It's, it's probably like some shop or something. Remember I lifted out as a man. That's a cornhole. That's a cornhole tree yeah. right there. But we, we, got, we got, like right I said, we, we got three places. Uh, and, but they, you know, one, two of them are right there in the same vicinity. The other one's about 10 more minutes down mm -hmm. the road. Uh, yeah. Okay. And, and they and they play cornhole there today. Yeah, and it's gonna. Well, you say you got two options: one, bring your own beer, or one. One, one, one. Yeah, the the, the other one that they play cornhole at today. Mm -hmm. I play there in the league on Friday night. Hey, what about league bumps? How do you handle that? The league. Well, here's the thing about league bumps. What we do. Are you using switch holio for that, or? We haven't yet, but here's what we. You know, I, everybody says that Hunt County doesn't bump their players. I've heard that. I don't get a chance yeah, to. Everybody else bumps them for me. Yeah. Exactly. That's a good point. Watch. People that play Hunt County, that's not the only place they play. So they got multiple directors. Like they could get bumped here, and then this director's like, no, dude, I'm bumping your ass back down. <laughs> but, Is that possible? Yeah, you, you can. You, if, if, uh, if one of my players, see, here's the thing about it, like you said, but I do have true Hunt County players. But if you go play in the tournament, same rock wall for the Reapers on a Saturday. You win it. Them jokers are quick to bump you. You go to Will's Point and win something. They'll bump you. Mm -hmm. You go to a Northeast Texas, they'll bump you. You go to North Texas, you get bumped. But well, dang, and then everybody says, well, Dory, you're not bumped. I don't get a chance to. You already bumped them. Yeah, you've already bumped all my players. How can I bump any? There's nobody left to bump. Hey, Randy, you can bump Randy. Randy's trying to be a C. <laughs> Bumped right there. It's done. <laughs> but because for the uh, after well at Ryder Cup, yeah, a bunch of other directors were like, "Hey, there's no way they can be playing down and you, on your team and all this." And I'm like, "Why?" You know, and they're talking about well, the bumps don't go into effect till after Ryder Cup, but all of a sudden all these bumps went in. Mm. Well, then, like I said. If my guy, if my people go do good at someone else's other tournament, and to me, you can go get hot one weekend. Yeah. You you can go throw fire one weekend. <clears throat> that doesn't mean that you need to be bumped just because you go win a tournament. You know. Yeah. And now you go to see it. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because of the competition, everybody's there. Yeah. But you just go win a tournament. That don't mean you should get bumped because yeah. you don't know the, the the quality of teams that are there. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these directors. They're quick to move people up, but that's they don't move their own people up. That's a good point. I never really thought about that, man. Just there's people bumping it for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean the, the 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 first bump of this year of this season, I was on a cruise. Yeah. And I was getting text messages, which I wish I wouldn't have got the Wi-Fi plan. But I was getting messages, <laughs> and and even Andrew's talking about, hey, you didn't turn bump. Hell, I ain't got to. I'm looking at the list. All my people already got bumped. By other directors, at least the ones that you know were borderline. Other people were bumping them, and I said, "Hell, I don't get a chance to bump my own people." So, I mean, you can't get mad at me. What are you right now? You I'm a C. A, you're a C. I was a C last year when I made top sixty. Yeah. And homeboy. He's a D. Come on. Now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I saw y'all throwing the other night, man. Y'all throwing pretty good over there at the ranch house. Y'all kicking some ass. Then they beat Where Joe and uh. Uh, we beat uh, Big D. Yeah. Yeah. 
At the Ranch House. John. Brian. We beat Jonathan and Brian. Ripper. Ripper. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah. wasn't easy conditions either. I mean, it was dark. And yeah. Low yeah. ceilings. Yeah. Which we should have beat Joe. Yeah, it was really In a bundle. I had to fair. Fucking Joe. We started out throwing 12s and 10s. He, he, I hate we, to we say. We started out, we did 12, 10, 12, I hate to say, usually it's me that falls apart at the end. He fell apart. Oh, Armando. Oh. Armando got hot. So, oh. we, we beat Joe and Armando. We, we played them after them, right? Yeah. Joe? Okay, hold on. Okay, we beat Joe, them man. in the rounders. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we beat them handily, and then... Handily. Handily. I mean, we beat them, I don't remember what the score, but I mean, we beat them. And it was kind of like, wow. And then we play them again. After y'all. Yeah. And Joe... What was it, three rounds? Three, rounds? three rounds. Joe threw <laughs> three twelves. <12s. laughs> he, he threw a perfect game against me, dude. <laughs> 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. And he goes, he goes, how come he didn't block? I was like, I just figured he's going to miss it. <laughs> I was like, he's going to miss the next one. And I was like, no, he's going to miss the next one. No, he missed the next one. No, he never missed. No, Joe. CJ walked out, he was shelf and he goes, can you just throw a 12 against me? <laughs> Which, you ever heard of a blocker? Which when we had him, Joe didn't start off hot, but then he got hot at the end, and me and him were sharing 12s and 10s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Armando was not hot. Yeah. The ceilings fucked him up. Yeah, and then about halfway through it, he got he off a little switched. bit, and Armando seized the switched. opportunity. Yeah. Well, then the next game, so the ne- we figured, oh, man, Joe's hot now. I mean, so they're going to start rolling. I walk, they walked away the next game, and he had the same look CJ had on him. Oh, yeah, they, yeah I'll say that. I said, what happened? He goes, I didn't, I'm not one in the hole. Not, I didn't put one bag in the hole. That is so weird, right? <laughs> against Ty? Or, uh, who was it again? It was against Ty. It was against Ty, yeah, I think. It was like 21, I was like, what? Yeah, it was against Ty. It's so weird how that happened. I mean, literally, like, oh, you within, said two literally, days in literally in a row. within, he, they walked off the court with yeah. us, they walked onto another court, and, and Joe just could, threw up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's freaking amazing. Oh, you can do that two, day, two games ago. Yeah, yeah, I mean it, it, it. It's it's wild. It's weird. I mean, cornhole. Corn, corn, corn though. Right? What what I categorize cornhole as, and I might be down for saying it, uh, golf, because I can have I can't hit a shot on on a golf course one day, but then if I hit the last one and it feels good and it looks good. I'm like, shit, I'm gonna come back and play again. Yeah, yeah. Because you're like, I think I got it. Yeah, I got I got this game yeah. down. Yeah. And, and Cornhole's the same way, like you're saying. You yeah. can throw about four twelves and you're like, shit, I got this under. and then yeah. the next round, hey, the way you I throw. had my foot position. Yeah. You, you, I, I could throw a twelve and then I'd be lucky if I get a five and I'm like, damn, didn't I just throw a twelve and now yeah. I can't even get stuff oh, on the board? Like it, yeah. we're, we're notorious for CEO you know, give up a seven or whatever, I turn around the very next end and give up an eight or nine. Like, oh, this is work, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, this is work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, Jesus Christ. You know, I'm like You yeah. like to play on board or you like to play off board, right? Uh, when we're together, yeah. Yeah, when we're together. Yeah. Yes. I say we play a doubles match, you know, y'all against us, and then I think we should definitely do a match where y'all play each other. I want to see that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I want to see that. So, but what yeah. bags are you going to use? Bags, man. Or you brought your own bags? Oh, we got bags, dog. We're going trip over there. All right. We got bags. We got their own bullets. Yeah, you no. know what I'm throwing right now? We're throwing the bodies together. Yeah, separately. I don't know what he's going to throw, but I'm throwing bodies. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. You can do bodies. Whatever you want. I was thinking the x-rays or the... All right, let's go. Okay. I'm ready, man. Yeah, you got it. All right. See what you do there, down there. Here we go. So as a director, are you... Do you have to set up down at the So you guys help? No, I need that.
want to show everything is right off the bat. Wow. What's it looking like right now? Yeah. Oh. That's the only bag that you can get that Right. You can make it. Yes. It's, that's it. Walking that has a chance to do a hit in the box. Oh, yeah. Just lay down a couple of the edges. You should just lift it let it be.
15 4. Getting smoked here by the. the uh, double D's. Yeah, double D's. Is that, is that the name of your crew? That's what we were called on the crew. We need a team name, the double D's. At first, they didn't, they didn't want to write it down. Oh, you got a ship on the stick to give them? See if we can get it. There you go. Good start. Maybe a. Maybe oh, a, good bag. Maybe a fender. A fender. A bumper or something. I see a broomstick over there. There you go. Good bag. Bumper on a broomstick. Over. Just slide. Keep them going. Don't try to do too much. There you go. No, you can do much. I want to do it. <laughs> It's such a good block that you blocked yourself.
This is starting just like the game that we just played. 6 0. <laughs> Golly, got me scared over there. Man, I'm gonna give all of them. No, you're not. Okay. The hell? How come you weren't playing oh this a minute ago? God. Hey, I'm just trying to sound or something. <laughs> there we go. I give up one. Shoot you. Wow. This game. No, I got one. Oh. Six to one. Six one. All right, here we go. I got this side now. You plan on doing any gambling? Uh, yes, sir. What's your game of choice? Blackjack. Blackjack. Yes, that's it. I like roulette. I don't know if they have. You know, I ain't figured out roulette. That's why I don't play it. Great collect. Just like daddy. I got 12. Just like daddy, he got a six. Did you get 12? Yes. Okay. Nice. Oh, Ten. Oh, I to six. Just like daddy, he got a six. Ten to six. Left side. My bad. I was getting some more. It was 12 on there. Number of times on one hand. Okay, I can't let this happen. <laughs> on camera. Yeah, on camera, on top of that. See, they didn't throw down the golf. Take your time. Great bag. It's an up church. And that's Ooh. a bag. Because that's gone. Yeah, that was a really good bag. Oh! Come on. Dude, some pros. Wow. Just take your time and do something sexy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it didn't fall off. Ten to nine, left that side. Ain't half. Yeah, it is. I gave you. I got nine. I know. Three ain't half ain't nine. nine it is half right now by that. Three. Three. Okay, what three. is it? Ten nine. <clears throat> Dad. Hey. Boy, you gonna go to sleep on the way? That's all right. That's all right. I already knew that. There we, there we go. Go on, help me out. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. Why you got to say something like that on me? <laughs> Come on. Don't knock me off, though. Did you keep calling me? Get over. God. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, oh man. dude. One. One. What? What's that, 11 there? 11 to 9, left side. That's better than him. Wow, I still got two. Damn. Is that the first four bagger of the day? Yes. Look no. at that. For me. Oh, okay. Oh. For me, dog, for the old folks. I got the ARP card. It's tied up 11 11. Here we go.
First one to ten. Ten. Great bag. Ooh. Yeah, push that up and out of the way. Oh, really? Okay. Wow, that set up perfectly for you. Damn, that was set up perfectly. Did the I other don't one? Get yours. Is your other one still hanging? No, it's five up. Right back. <laughs> it's a bad situation. You gotta assume he's gonna drag it in anyway, so you might as well go in with it. And hopefully he shanks it. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Oh! Seven. Looks like a seven spot, though. Nineteen eleven. It's time for your four bagger. No good if I four bag too, though. To tie. You gotta go in with that me. Oh! What's up? Nice! That's a fucking roll. <laughs> you still 1911? <clears throat> wow. Okay. That was sick. Okay. <laughs> wow. Alright. Trying to shake me up, huh? I'll see. Wow. You got the momentum back. Come on. Take it. Uh-oh. Is that shook? Ooh. Back to the scene of the crime. Put the baby to bed.
Baby going to sleep. <laughs> Baby going to sleep. Put it on. Turn out the lights. The party's over. <clears throat> Told you these young bucks. Hey. I think he I think he needs to throw bunnies too, bro. That was he killed me with the bunnies. Watch out, he's gonna wanna grab one. Good job. You good, good job. You good. I, 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 I.